Assembly. Once you have mechanically fixed the perma echo C at the location of use, you can put it into operation. Before you commission the perma echo C for the first time, first fill the perma echo C's tank with suitable lubricant. Unscrew the red screw cap on the top of the device. Please note that the filter in the filling nozzle must not be removed. Fill the tank of the perma echo C. Before commissioning the lubrication system, you should fill all lubrication points and supply lines with a sufficient quantity of the same lubricant. For this purpose, the integrated test run function on the perma echo C can be used for short line lengths. The use of an external pump is recommended for supply lines of 2 meters or more in length. Now connect the perma echo C to the 230 volt power supply with the 4 pin plug connection. Alternatively, the perma echo C can be supplied with 24 volts using the 8 pin plug connector. The perma echo C will start an initialization run to check whether all outlets are detected. Setting the perma echo C. To access the menu, press the left hand selection button below the display screen. You can make settings using three menu items. Press the middle selection buttons to access the individual menu items. The active selection is marked by an arrow on the left of the display screen. Press the left hand OK button to open a menu item. To exit the menu item, press the right hand selection button Escape. Now configure the lubrication system. Select the menu item Configuration. Confirm the selection by pressing the left hand OK button. In the configuration menu, you can select the operating mode, set the unit of temperature, change the language, adjust the contrast of the display screen and define a pin. Selecting the right operating mode is important when commissioning the perma echo C. Before you can set a mode, you're prompted to enter a pin. The default pin when commissioning for the first time is 000. Confirm the pin by pressing the OK button. You can now select one of three different operating modes. Permanent signal mode. If you wish to discharge in permanent signal mode, you do not need to make a selection, as permanent signal mode is defined as the default factory setting. Permanent signal mode is recommended when using the perma echo C with a connection to higher level machine control systems. The connection is established using the 8 pin plug connection. Time controlled mode. If you would like to discharge lubricant at certain time intervals, select time controlled mode. Confirm the selection by pressing the left hand OK button. In time controlled mode, the perma echo C runs self-sufficiently and calculates the discharging time based on the selected discharge volume. This operating mode is suitable for systems which run in continuous operation and are not connected to a higher level control system. Sensor mode. Select sensor mode from the menu. Confirm the selection with OK. Connect the sensor to the perma echo C. To do so, use the 8-pin plug connector. The PERMA ECHO C remains in operation as long as the sensor transmits signals to the PERMA ECHO C. The signals indicate that the machine elements for lubrication are currently in use. The discharging time is calculated based on the selected discharge volume. For this process, only the operating hours of the machine are taken into account. After selecting the operating mode, you can set the parameters for the perma echo C. Parameters. Press the Escape button repeatedly until you're back in the main menu. Select the menu item Parameter and confirm with OK. Outlets. You can use this menu item to activate the six different outlets on the perma echo C. To select an outlet, navigate to it using the arrow buttons and then confirm with OK. Discharge volume. 
the default setting for the discharge volume of an outlet is 0 milliliters per 1,000 hours. Under these settings, the outlet does not discharge. To define the desired discharge volume, press the Edit button. Use the plus and minus buttons to select a suitable discharge volume. Confirm the selection by pressing the OK button. Temperature limit. In the parameter settings, you can also define a temperature limit. The PERMA Echo C switches to standby mode if the temperature drops below the defined level. No more lubricant is discharged. This ensures that lubricant is only discharged when the ambient temperature is above the set temperature threshold. To set the temperature limit, select the menu item Temperature Shut Off and confirm with OK. Use the arrow buttons to set the desired temperature value at which you want the Perma Echo C to shut off. Confirm your input with OK. The Perma Echo C is now ready for operation.